Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing the I am a reader book tag. And if you haven't done it to yourself also, I will have the link below in the description. And I do wish to see you do it yourself because I think it's like a super fun book tag. It's called I am a reader. So getting started on the first question is, what's the very first book you fell in love with? Um, boy, I mean there's a lot of books that I fell in love with. But one of the books that I fell in love with was Downsiders by Neil Schusterman. And it's like my all time favorite book. And and ever since I was in middle school, I saw it and it was part of like that young reader book books and stuff like program. I pretty much been really into it. And if you want to learn more about it, I'd be happy to do like a video on it in case you want to learn more about it. But it's really good. The next question is hardcover or paperback. I pretty much am very split because I like paperbacks because they're cheaper and you pretty much can carry in your purse and they're like small and you know, like they're pretty much very flexible. But on the other hand, if I want to like something that makes my room look really nice, hard cover because they also have like some features that you don't get a lot with like paperbacks like for example like the end covers like when you open it and you get the little designs on the backs the actual cardboard part I guess it's always nice and stuff and they're also like the cover is like actually more durable and stuff and you can even remove it and yeah they pretty much make it, uh, the whole bookshelf look nice but then again paperbacks also look nice too so I pretty much like it split next question is how was reading shape your uh identity um I think it pretty much just like made me who I am and it also like guided me like through most of the dark times of my life and also like just pretty much been something that I pretty much always gravitated so much more so that's pretty much just who I am Next question is, what book do you read when you need to be comforted? I pretty much, um, I don't have like specific book that I always go to because I don't usually, I mean, sometimes I will reread books, but I'm pretty much like a read book and then I go on to the next. But if I gotta say like, um, if I was looking to be comforted, I think like anything by Sh Neil Schusterman or Cassandra Clare or even the Harry Potter books always make me feel happy. Next question is, who taught you to be a reader? Um, well, I mean, I I could say like my mom and my dad made me a reader. I mean, they uh, made me uh, practice my reading and uh, when I was a kid, learning how to read and also teachers taught me how to read. But I think I am the person that made myself a reader. So I was like, chose to go to the library when uh, in the mornings before class starts. I'm pretty much like somebody that just likes going to the library. I also think like uh, being around, uh, listening to librarians talk about books all the time. That's pretty much what made me want to go there. I don't know. I just like always felt like there was like some big huge pull that drew me to reading. So I guess books made me the reader. Next question is describe your dream reading lounge. I think my dream reading lounge gotta be somewhere where there's bookshelves, great lighting, a really comfy chair, and maybe like uh like maybe like a coffee machine so that way I have coffee with me or maybe tea. I think I get I guess I go with cranks because you can make both. Some mugs that have books on stuff of it and maybe some on my chair chair maybe it's like some bookish pillows to say read or the reading corner or something like that maybe some plush carpets and maybe like a, even a bean bag and maybe some quiet music playing or two I don't really listen to music when I read yeah just like something that's like you know like not too quiet because too much quietness makes me not want to read but I also want some good enough not too loud or something like that so yeah and also a place where I know I'm not gonna be bothered the last question is what book changed the way you act or see the world um, I haven't seen red or anything like that red changed the way that I looked at the world differently because I feel like I look the world the same way and I pretty much am the same person as I always been since forever. I mean except like I think like uh, the more I read a book it makes me even more a reader it makes me even love books more often. I mean I guess like every time I read a new graphic design book it makes me feel very even more creative. I also like uh, really like this book called Your Your Own I think it's Your One Word or Your Own Word uh, by Evan Carmichael and I think like that got me very inspired to continue to go with like YouTube and uh yeah I pretty much like find my own identity as the YouTuber so so that's pretty much all the questions I have for today hopefully you enjoyed this book tag as I, much as I did and if you did click on a thumbs up and let me know about a book that helped you change you the way you act or see the world and also like let me know about your favorite reading lounge ideal let me know what you feel like if you had to describe your perfect place yeah I'd like to hear about it so if you want to see more book tag videos more bookish stuff do you subscribe because i love to have there and until next time keep on reading